because I'm going to go over the results for NXT and AEW, what I thought real quick on each of the matches. Okay, here we go. Uh, Gargano versus Dijakovic. Uh, I expected Gargano to win uh, using cheating, and he did. Pathetic. Uh, Tazawa versus Jack Gallagher. I didn't care about that match at all, to be honest. Uh, Chelsea Green versus Zia, Zia Lee. New Green would win. Big deal. Uh, Velveteen Dream cut a pr promo. I didn't feel anything for the promo. Uh, Karrion Cross and Scarlet had a fantastic entrance. Uh, smoke and like lighting and lip syncing. Uh, yeah, very, very cool entrance. Very, very cool entrance. Uh, a plus entrance for those two. The match that he had, had by the number squash match, not a big deal. Uh, championship match, Io Shirai versus Charlotte Flair. I skipped to the ending because I knew Io Shirai wasn't taking that belt off of Charlotte. It was so obvious that they're pushing Charlotte heavily, especially after she name dropped Io Shirai on Raw and they didn't bother showing her at all. So that's how you knew that was going to happen. I skipped all the way to the end and it was a screw finish. I, I knew it was going to be disappointed in the end, no matter what happened. So they did a usual screw job. So I didn't care. Kushida vs. Jack Atlas, great finish with um like a flipping on uh, flipping arm bar. That was really cool. Uh Finn Balor cut a promo. He was interrupted kind of by um the guy with the hat or whatever. And uh he said, like, I would slap him to his face. Finn Balor was like, Oh, really? I love the way they made it so like when he was talking shit about Finn Balor, Finn Balor came out of nowhere and was crawling from behind. Then he cut away. It was really cool. They didn't cut away. And, um, Finn Bella was like, was uh, right behind him as, as, uh, that guy was talking shit. Cameron Grimes was talking all that shit about him and behind it, like, like behind his back. But Finn Bella was behind his back and Bella was like, say it, say it to my, you gonna slap me? Dad, do it. I'm right here, right here. Slap me, bitch. Slap me. <laughs> Grimes was like, nah, man. And Bella was like, oh, no, I'm gonna hit you now. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good shit. Uh, so Balor versus Grimes next week. Let's hope Grimes doesn't get into any problems with underage girls or whatever online, allegedly. And Adam Cole versus, Vel versus Velveteen Dream. I skipped the match entirely, went right to the end, because I knew Dream wasn't going to win that match. I knew he wasn't going to win that match. There's like no real momentum for the, for the guy. I was like, skip to the end, and yeah, yeah. It's, it's Dexter Loomis was uh, in there, so I was like, eh, okay, cool. Let's go to AEW real quick. Oh, they don't really go into details. Uh, okay, um, uh, I guess the uh, only thing was like uh, Brandy Rhodes had a pro had a promo talking about how this is in the '90s and you're not going to get away with like demeaning me. And then she got a and then Jake Roberts got away with everything anyway. So that was interesting. Uh, so uh, Joey Janela and Cody Rhodes had a good match. Obvious winner. Cody Rhodes has, a, has the momentum, so he's going to win. Uh, another Rose squash match next. John Moxley versus Frank Kazarian squash match essentially, but Frank Kazarian is good. He has hair now, uh, so like they had a couple good spots in there. But overall, we knew it was going to win that one, so no real point really looking at the whole match of that one. Uh, Lance Archer defeated squash match essentially, and the snake thing at the end. Jake Roberts was humping all over. That was pretty cool, uh, and uh, a DDT style match at the very end. DDT is an organization like NWW, like WWE, and like Impact Wrestling. DDT is an organization that does crazy matches every now and then, like, like I don't know, ten times a year, some shit like that. They do crazy matches like this where they go essentially out into the public and do wrestling out in the public. And this is one of those times when they took like something like this one, and. Um, I have seen people get run over by, like, carts and, and mobiles in DDT, like in the forest and shit like that. Uh, the shit they do in the forest is ridiculous. Waterfalls, branches, oh my god. Um, but, uh, this is really cool too. The, the, the big spot for me, I think there were two big spots. Uh, putting Matt Hardy in the freezer, and then Kenny Omega ignored his partner in the freezer. That was interesting. Uh, and the part when, um, I guess he couldn't get him out because transformation, but, and the part when he, when Kenny Omega did a, a moonsault off a forklift or whatever that, that shit was, 
uh, onto them. That it was very quick too. I was like, damn. And and then uh, Kenny Omega and and uh, Dem- Damascus ran over Jericho and uh, Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara looked like he legit got hit by that shit. There, I was like, ooh. He was like, ooh, with his head. I'm like, oh my god. It was really cool. Uh, they did the the the, the shield power bomb on both of them. That was cool. Uh, <laughs> and then they all celebrated in front of like um, the the Tron or whatever, and they all did the middle fingers with the inner circle in the background. I was like. You're going to do crazy shit like that and end it with crazy shit like that? So overall, what was the better show this week? AEW or NXT? Honestly, uh, they're both like one, one moment shows, one moment shows. Karrion Cross, Karrion Cross's entrance for NXT, but because AEW had an actual legit match be the, the star of the show, AEW wins this week. NXT won last week. AEW wins this week overall. That's it for now. Clack off. Yeah.